In this photo from 1988, we see a young Cameron Diaz in her high school cheerleading uniform. Diaz attended Long Beach Polytechnic High School in California, where she was involved in various extracurricular activities, including cheerleading. This photo captures a moment from her teenage years before she became a well-known actress. This photo taken in 1990 shows Arnold Schwarzenegger and director Paul Verhoeven on the set of the science fiction film Total Recall. The movie was a box office success and helped solidify Schwarzenegger's status as an action movie star. Verhoeven, a Dutch filmmaker, also directed other popular movies like Robocop and Basic Instinct. This photo from 1966 features Natalia Vardy, a Soviet and Russian actress, on the beach in Crimea. Crimea is a peninsula in the Black Sea that was part of the Soviet Union until its dissolution in 1991. Vardy is known for her work in Russian cinema and theater. Sherilyn Fenn, an American actress known for her roles in Twin Peaks and Gilmore Girls, was photographed for Playboy in December 1990. This photo captures Fenn at 24 years old, Playboy, a men's lifestyle and entertainment magazine, has featured many famous women over the years, including Marilyn Monroe, Pamela Anderson, and Anna Nicole Smith. This photograph from 1976 was taken as part of an article on Los Angeles' growing porn scene. It shows the Institute of Oral Love, which was located on the corner of Santa Monica Boulevard and Spalding Avenue. The Institute was a storefront that offered pornographic movies and sex toys, and it was one of many businesses that emerged during the sexual revolution of the 1960s and 70s. This photo captures a woman walking along a railroad in 1944. The exact location and identity of the woman are unknown, but the photo was likely taken during World War II. Railroads played an important role in the war effort, transporting troops, supplies, and equipment across the United States and overseas. This photo from circa 1947 shows girls preparing to play volleyball on a beautiful beach in Southern California. The exact location is unknown, but the photo captures the carefree spirit of post-war America. Volleyball was a popular sport in California, where the mild climate and scenic beaches provided the perfect setting for outdoor activities. Playboy bunnies were a fixture of the Playboy Club, a chain of nightclubs that operated from 1960 to 1986. This photo features bunnies from the 1970s wearing the iconic bunny costume that consisted of a stripless corset, bunny ears, and a fluffy tail. The Playboy Club was known for its lavish parties and celebrity clientele, and it helped popularize the Playboy brand around the world. This photo captures 18-year-old Mike Tyson with his trainer, Custer Mato, before his first professional fight in 1985. Tyson, who grew up in Brooklyn, New York, went on to become one of the most famous boxers of all time. Tomato was a legendary trainer who mentored Tyson and helped him develop his boxing skills. This photo from June 30, 1993, shows Liv Tyler celebrating her 16th birthday with family and friends. Tyler is an American actress who has appeared in movies like Armageddon and The Lord of the Rings trilogy. At the time this photo was taken, Tyler was still a teenager and had not yet established herself as a Hollywood star. In this photo from 1953, we see the iconic Marilyn Monroe at the circus opening. Monroe was a famous American actress and model who became a symbol of the 1950s and 60s. Her blonde bombshell image and seductive screen presence made her one of the most famous and beloved actresses of her time. 
This photo from 1980 captures a young Monica Bellucci before she became a famous actress and model. Bellucci is an Italian actress who has appeared in movies like The Matrix Reloaded and Spectre. She is known for her beauty and elegance, and this photo shows her in her youth before she became a household name. This photo from 1986 shows a Coca-Cola store in the state of Alabama. Coca-Cola is a popular soft drink that was invented in the late 19th century in Atlanta, Georgia. The drink became a global phenomenon and Coca-Cola stores like this one could be found all over the United States. The Spice Girls were a British girl group that rose to fame in the 1990s. This photo from 1998 shows the Spice Girls posing together, each with their unique style and personality. The Spice Girls were known for their catchy pop songs and colorful fashion, and they inspired a generation of young girls around the world. Len Dawson was the quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs football team, and this photo was taken at halftime of the first Super Bowl on January 15, 1967 in Los Angeles. The Super Bowl is the championship game of the National Football League, and it is one of the biggest sporting events in the world. Dawson led the Chiefs to the victory in Super Bowl IV in 1970, and he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1987. This photo captures a group of girls checking everything for the last time before going to the stage at the Miss USR Beauty Contest in 1988. The Miss USR pageant was a beauty contest that was held in the Soviet Union from 1988 to 1991. The pageant was part of a larger cultural shift in the USR towards greater openness and international engagement. Jean Gianni was a model for Playboy magazine in the 1950s. This photo from circa 1950 shows Joni posing in a blue dress, which was a popular fashion trend at the time. Playboy magazine was founded in 1953 and quickly became a cultural icon, featuring some of the most beautiful and famous women in the world. Bill Gates famously said, this TD read only memory can hold more information than all of the papers here below me. In 1994, Gates was referring to the capacity of a CD read only memory, which was a new and exciting technology at the time. Gates is the co founder of Microsoft, one of the largest and most successful technology companies in the world. Rob Parisi was the lead singer of the funk band Wild Cherry. And this photo from 1976 shows him at the height of his success. Wild Cherry is best known for their hit song, Play That Funky Music, which topped the charts in 1976. Parisi was born in 1950, which would make him 26 or 27 years old at the time this photo was taken. This photo captures a group of Volga fishermen posing after work in the Kostroma region. The Volga River is the largest river in Europe, and it is an important source of fish for many people in Russia. Fishing is a traditional way of life in the region, and this photo shows the camaraderie and hard work of the fishermen who rely on the river for their livelihood. This photo from 1986 shows a group of Chernobyl liquidators during a gear check. The Chernobyl disaster was a nuclear accident that occurred on April 26, 1986, at the No-4 reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. The liquidators were workers who were tasked with cleaning up the radioactive debris after the accident, putting themselves at great risk to prevent further harm. The Spanish flu was a global pandemic that lasted from 1918 to 1920, infecting an estimated 500 million people worldwide. This photo from 1918 shows a family portrait from that time, even the cat wearing a face mask. The Spanish flu was one of the deadliest pandemics in history, 
killing between 50 and 100 million people. This photo from 1905 shows the Calumet copper mines in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. The copper mines were an important source of employment and wealth for the region, and they played a significant role in the development of the American economy. The photo shows the workers and equipment used in the mining process, giving a glimpse into the industrial history of the United States. Winston Churchill was a British politician and statesman who played a key role in the Allied victory in World War II. This photo from circa 1944 shows Churchill during training for the D-Day invasion, with General Dwight D. Eisenhower on his right on the firing line. D-Day was a crucial operation that marked the beginning of the end of the war in Europe, and Churchill's leadership was instrumental in its success. Annie Jones was an American bearded woman who was born in Virginia in 1865. This photo from the 1870s shows Jones with her signature beard, which she began growing at the age of nine. Jones became a circus performer and traveled the world, becoming a famous and beloved figure in the entertainment industry. The Battle of Stalingrad was a major turning point in World War II with the Soviet Union defeating the invading German army after a brutal six-month battle. This photo from January 1943 shows Soviet troops during the battle, with the ruined city of Stalingrad in the background. The battle was one of the deadliest in history, with over one million casualties on both sides. This photo from February 17, 1947, shows the United States Board of Tea Experts assembled for the first time since 1942 to set up minimum standards for the eight to 10 different types of tea that will be coming into the country for the following year. The tea experts were responsible for ensuring the quality and safety of tea imported into the United States, a task that became more important as the country became more interconnected with the global economy. Simone Seguin was a French resistance fighter during World War II who became famous for her bravery and skill. This photo from 1944 shows Seguin in her uniform, holding a rifle. Seguin played a key role in the liberation of Chartres, a city in central France, and she was later awarded several military honors for her service. This photo shows the evacuation of newborns from Vietnam to the United States in 1975 during the final days of the Vietnam War. The evacuation was part of Operation Babylift, a humanitarian effort to rescue children who were at risk of being orphaned or abandoned in the chaos of the war. The operation was controversial and faced many challenges, but it ultimately saved the lives of thousands of children. This photo from 1908 shows a Victorian house being moved via horsepower in San Francisco. The house was moved to make way for the construction of a new streetcar line, a common occurrence in rapidly growing cities like San Francisco at the time. The photo shows the intricate process of moving a large structure like a house, with the use of horses and a team of workers to carefully maneuver the building through the city streets. The Canadian schooner, I'm Alone, was a notorious rum runner during the Prohibition era, a time when alcohol was illegal in the United States. This photo from the 1920s shows the I'm Alone at its home port of Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. The ship was used to smuggle alcohol from Canada into the United States, where it was in high demand during the era of Prohibition. The I'm Alone was eventually sunk off the coast of Louisiana in 1929 while attempting to smuggle alcohol, a fate that was shared by many of the ships used in the illicit trade. This photo shows members of a swimming school training in a pool. Swimming is a popular sport and recreational activity, and learning to swim is an important life skill. 
The photo shows the focus and determination of the swimmers as they work on their technique and endurance in the pool.